Hello everyone. Welcome back and this is Dr. Sita with you again. What is seed cycling? What is the concept behind seed cycling? Is it really useful to correct many hormonal conditions and various other conditions and disorders? This is a question and doubt which has been asked by many people in this channel. Actually speaking, I did not know much about seed cycling till you people asked me. Once a lot of queries started coming about this, I also started reading in depth about it. And here in this video, I am going to tell you all that I have learned about seed cycling, what it's all about, the concept behind it, what are the seeds used in seed cycling, its benefits, and whether these benefits are scientifically proven or not. So stay tuned and watch this interesting video till the end. First, let's have a look at what is seed cycling. Seed cycling is a growing concept among the naturopathic way of treatment. In seed cycling, the basic concept is when you eat different types of seeds during the different phases of your menstrual cycle, it will help to correct the hormonal imbalances, mood disturbances and any other issues which are associated with hormones and the menstrual cycle. Also, in menopausal ladies, it will help to correct mood disturbances, hot flushes and many menopausal symptoms due to the deficiency of hormones during this phase of life. So, what exactly do we do in seed cycling? As I told you just now, during the first half of the menstrual cycle, we eat particular seeds and during the second half of menstrual cycle, we eat another different set of seeds. The people who propagate this form of treatment say that any hormonal imbalance or deficiencies during any particular phase of a cycle can be corrected by taking seeds thus because these seeds help to correct any imbalances that may occur throughout the menstrual cycle. So what are the different seeds which are used for seed cycling? Basically four seeds are commonly used pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, sesame seeds, or till seeds and sunflower seeds. How are these seeds used throughout the menstrual cycle? During the first half of the menstrual cycle, that is the follicular phase, which starts from the day of the period and ends with ovulation, you take pumpkin seeds and flax seeds. Each of these two seeds are freshly ground daily and one tablespoon each of these two are taken daily from the first day of menses up to ovulation. During the second half of the menstrual cycle, that is the luteal phase, from the ovulation time to the next period date, the seeds which are taken are sesame seeds or till seeds and sunflower seeds. These are also freshly ground daily and one tablespoon of each of these are taken every day. And what do we do in menopausal women who do not have menstrual cycles? In these women, the first day is considered as starting from new moon day. So from new moon day for 14 days, pumpkin seeds and flax seeds are taken and for the next 14 days, sunflower seeds and sesame seeds are taken, right? So what are the possible benefits that you can get by taking these four seeds according to the seed cycling method? The proponents or people who propagate seed cycling methods say that Many conditions like PCOs, endometriosis, excessive acne, many other hormonal disorders, mood swings and even thyroid issues, hair related issues, weight related issues, fluid retention in the body, all these conditions and much more and many more conditions can be corrected if these four seeds are taken according to this seed cycling principle for a minimum of three to four months duration. Now, what is the concept behind taking these particular seeds during particular time of the menstrual cycle? Flax seeds contain a lot of phytoestrogens, that is estrogens derived from plants. And these estrogens will help to correct any deficiency of estrogen during the follicular phase because estrogen is one of the predominant hormone during the follicular phase of menstrual cycle. In pumpkin seed, a very important element is zinc and this zinc helps to produce progesterone during the second phase of the cycle. So it is in preparation for the next stage of the menstrual cycle. 
Sunflower seeds are abundant in vitamin E and vitamin E also helps to boost progesterone production in the second half of the cycle. Hence, it's taken during the second half of the cycle. Sesame seeds contain a specific form of lignans which will keep the estrogen from being too high during the luteal phase. If estrogen is too high during the luteal phase, then that is not good. This is what the proponents of seed cycling claim. So the question we have to address now is, is there any truth in all these? Is there any truth in taking these four seeds according to the seed cycling concept? I went through a lot of literature and I found that actually speaking, there is no scientific study. There is no solid study which proves that seed cycling is indeed really beneficial, that seed cycling really makes a difference. However, having said this, I must admit, and as you all know as well, all these four seeds are jam-packed with lot of nutrients and hence including them in our daily diet really helps us maintain our health in a good level, whether it's by the seed cycling method or not. Before ending this video, I'd like to mention the important health benefits of these four seeds. First, let's talk about flax seeds. Flax seeds are indeed a powerhouse of nutrients. Flax seeds confer numerous health benefits. It is very difficult to enumerate everything in one particular video. In Malayalam, I have uploaded a separate video that is some 10 or 12 minutes video regarding the health benefits of flax seeds. I try to do an English video also whenever I get time. Flax seeds contain a lot of fiber, so helps you protect against constipation, helps you feel full for a longer time and thus helps with weight loss also. Flax seeds are said to help with lowering of blood cholesterol that is bad cholesterol or LDL cholesterol. They help to lower the blood sugar level and they help to lower the blood pressure also. Flax seeds also help a lot in controlling the inflammation that occurs in the body and the various conditions and illnesses that develop due to inflammation. Flax seeds also boost the body immunity. Many substances, especially certain lignans contained in flax seeds, offer a great degree of protection against development of many malignancies. Flax seeds are also excellent for health of hair and skin. There are numerous other benefits that flax seeds confer and as I told you earlier, I'll make a separate video of it when I get time. Secondly, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are extremely rich in zinc, iron, calcium, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus and so many other nutrients. Including pumpkin seeds in your daily diet will definitely improve your health. Thirdly, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds contains certain lignans, antioxidants, healthy omega-3 fatty acids and so many other nutrients. They are also very good for our health. Fourthly, sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are jam-packed with vitamin E which is very very important for our health. It also contains a lot of magnesium, manganese, calcium, phosphorus, potassium and so many other nutrients. I'll make separate videos about all these seeds as and when I get time. So the take home message from this video is seed cycling, though it is not proven to have any extra beneficial effects, it would be prudent and wise to include the four seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds and sesame seeds in our regular diet in order to reap the benefits that these four seeds provide us. I hope you all liked this interesting video. Please do pass on this information to others also. And for that, please do share the video link with all your friends, family and contacts. Till I see you again with another video. Take care of yourself and your loved ones and stay blessed.